Improving the infrastructure for environmental assets in Web3 helps to solve issues creating a new category – regenerative finance. This is the blockchain marketing channel. My name is Daria Volkova and this video is dedicated to the vital topic of the future – regenerative finance and how blockchain technology reduces carbon emissions. Regenerative finance is the type of finance that aims to support and invest in systems, projects and organizations that have a positive impact on people and the environment. It's based on the idea that financial systems should not just focus on maximizing profits, but also contribute to the well-being of society and the natural world. There are several potential values of regenerative finance. First, promoting sustainability. Regenerative finance can support initiatives that promote sustainability such as renewable energy projects or environmentally friendly products. Second, supporting projects that have a positive social impact. Third, aligning financial goals with values. For individuals and organizations that want their financial decisions to ally with their values, regenerative finance can provide a way to invest in projects that ally with the benefits and principles. Fourth, supporting systems change. Regenerative finance can also support initiatives that aim to create systemic change, such as policy reforms or movements for social justice. And fifth, Enhancing resilience by supporting projects that enhance stability, such as community-based food systems or disaster preparedness programs, regenerative finance can help communities and societies become more resilient in the face of challenges. There are many projects and developments in the space are focused on long-term potential, which is now uniting under the refined direction. These projects also use the idea of regeneration nature as the positioning and uniqueness of the brand. I want to share some of such projects with you. But before this, I ask you to like this video and subscribe to the Blockchain Marketing channel. So, first of all, you need to know about the Climate Collective Organization. It's a leading coalition of stakeholders, from investors and non-profit organizations to entrepreneurs and scientists leveraging trusted sustainable Web3 infrastructure to unlock innovative and veritable climate action at scale. Their mission is to build a trusted market for high-quality digital environmental assets that enable people and the planet to thrive. They believe in supporting planetary health and the regenerative financial system using mass coordinating tools to solve problems. One of the most notable projects in Climate Collective is CELO. CELO means Propose in Esperanto. CELO is a fully AVM-compatible proof-of-stake Layer 1 protocol featuring a fast, ultralight client design for mobile with ability to pay transaction fees with tokens or stablecoins. CELO aims to create the conditions for prosperity people fulfilling basic needs, growing along their unique path and supporting each other. One more organization is Blockchain for Climate Foundation from Canada. Their mission is an international collaboration on reducing greenhouse gas emissions in critical to heighten climate change. Today's world presents nearly unlimited opportunities to reduce greenhouse gas emissions but has lacked a system to connect emissions reductions chains with capital and demand. Blockchain technology promises to manifest a transparent public and universal ledger that can serve as the medium of exchange for emissions reduction outcomes. The next project is Tukan. It exists to help people rapidly coordinate a response to species' most significant challenge. Improving the infrastructure for environmental assets in Web3 helps to solve key market issues – fragmentation, inefficiency, a lack of consistent data and limited access. 
Tukan protocol focuses on digitizing and tokenizing off-chain carbon offsets as a type of middleware solution for other projects to incorporate through their open climate registry via the Tukan API and SDK. Tukan was launched in October 2021 as the infrastructure provider behind Base Carbon Ton, the first carbon reference token. It was released with Klima DAO. So, the last project I want to share in this video is Klima DAO, co-founded by Mark Cuban, an American billionaire entrepreneur. Klima DAO is a decentralized autonomous organization for change. Built on the energy-efficient Polygon network, Klima DAO uses a stack of technologies to reduce market fragmentation and accelerate global climate finance delivery to sustainability projects. They say you can fight climate change and earn rewards with Klima, a digital currency baked by tangible carbon assets. Klima DAO has been one of the most successful reporting the removal of 18 million tons of CO2. I told you only about some projects currently developing in the refi industry. Now on the screen you see a picture from the Medium article by Boyd Cohen, the CEO of IOMOB, researcher, entrepreneur and author of three books. There are many more such projects and we will see their impact on ecology from the perspective of several years. Do you like the idea of refi? Do you believe in refi? Which project is your favorite? Share your thoughts in the comments and see you in the next videos.